and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Oh, Brad, I'm pumped. Hi, folks. Oh. I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. You're the real most famous physical therapist on the internet. In their opinion, of course, Bob. Today, we're going to saw show you a safe beginning neck stretches that stop pain if done correctly. Right. If done correctly, right. Bob, and we're going to go through this. We're going to go through the rules. Right. We're going to go through the rules a little more in detail than we have, particularly for beginners, because neck pain with myself personally, as well as patients, I feel pretty confident that they're not too hard to treat typically if you do it right and get rid of that pain. I uh, wasn't ignoring you, Brad. Easier easier than low back pain, wouldn't you say, right. in I general? Think so. I think so. You Unless know, you I... have pain all the way into the hand. Right. Then it gets right. a little more advanced. We'll talk a little bit about that, too. Sure. But well, we got to talk about By the way, if this. you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe yeah, to us. Right. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, go to bobandbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section. We are giving away the big prize. That's Wait, right. That's the Sleep Ovation mattress. Awesome mattress. And this is just a sample of one. Yeah, it shows you how they're made inside and why they're so nice because they have 700 tiny little mattresses made out of a, I believe it's a patented type of foam. It's a patented type of foam. Yep. And it's got coils underneath each one. Right, so, which allows uh, good support because that's what we like it and it's good airflow so it doesn't get so hot right so that's 700 coils then 700 right. coils bob we're not done with that yet brad oh, i'm sorry <laughs> we can also go to bob and brad uh dog uh bottom brad at facebook and we'll be pinned to the top of the page that's of the contest right. go to twitter instagram or tiktok if you want a 60 second version of our program and our podcasts are now up and running and we're going very well so uh yeah, you don't have great to look interviews. At, yeah, you don't have to look at our face. Just listen to that. And uh, life is good that way. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right, carry on. Oh, no, you carry on. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, next stretch is uh, there's some rules that you have to follow and some techniques that you need to do properly in order to be successful. Otherwise, you could make things worse. Right. Uh, and uh, just... Let's Be talk about what neck pain commonly, how it may present itself. Right. In other words, the symptoms, the right. pain locations and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, should we just show on ourselves? Sure. I okay. thought you'd show on me. All right. Yeah. I don't know if I can reach that high. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Okay. So neck pain, I would say the majority is... The, from the lower neck, sometimes upper. Um, and so, but it's going to work either way. These stretches are going to be helpful. Oftentimes what happens with particularly lower neck pain is it refers down into the shoulder blade or into the shoulder and sometimes down in the arm if a pinched nerve is associated mm. with it. Uh, so keep that in mind. Also, the neck pain can refer upwards uh, into create headaches. Yeah, but it can go up and around. It can it, it can start in a really low base of the neck here, or uh, the base of the skull. Skull, yeah. yeah. At C1, that right. highest vertebra level. Um, so, and oftentimes, and I think most everyone will agree with this, the big part of neck pain is from poor oh, chronic God. posture. Yes. Head forward, slouched over, it really stresses the neck uh, and can impinge the nerves and a number number of other structures and tissues. So uh, let's go on. Number one rule that need you have rule, to follow. Need to follow with stretches. Yeah. So we're going to show you three stretches, but if any of the stretches increase pain or pain in the neck or anywhere down in the shoulder blade or what we had just mentioned, you stop. It is not the right thing to do. You only continue if it makes things feel better while you're doing it as well as After. afterwards. So yes. you get done with the stretches. You need to monitor it for the next hour or two plus the next day. Yeah. So if I do the stretches and it, it hurts a little bit at first, the first couple repetitions, but then, oh, it feels better. I'm going to continue, do my 10 yeah. repetitions, but then I'm not going to stretch again until the next day. Just to see how I did with it. Yeah. Right. Right occasionally it might flare up later on as yeah. a result of the stretches. Usually not, but you have to be safe. Unlikely. Yeah. So if it feels good the next day and then you stretch again, you get the same results. 
then you continue on. So just cautious. Don't overdo them the first time for sure. Yes, the first day. Then after, well, we'll talk about that rule too, uh, how often to do it. Yep, exactly. Um, never stretch too aggressively. The stretches we'll show you, we'll talk about it. Uh, you know, and I have to say, maybe I'm wrong, but mostly guys, you know, get that, include myself off. If, if this feels good, maybe I should stretch if a little really is good. A lot is more. You know, yeah, that's and, not true. You no, know, take your time with it. The, you know, after you stretch it a few days in a row and it's very consistently better, you can increase Yeah, the then intensity. you get a sense of what you're able to tolerate. Right. But initially, we're going to even kind of show you micro stretches, you know, yep. like. Yeah. Yeah, you just don't want to mess around with the neck and get because right. you can get things inflamed and get a nerve pinch worse and cause some serious. You're gonna be swearing at Bob and Brad. Yeah, we all have none of that. <laughs> <laughs> now let's talk about this. is really important. Why don't you yes. stand up again, Bob? It's called centralization of pain. Uh, if the pain is in the neck and it's referring down into this area, as I mentioned, to the shoulder blade or down to the arm or up into the head, up into the uh, temple area or the forehead, uh, when you do the stretches, if the pain seems to be getting better distally or like on the arm or the shoulder blade, and it seems to be centralizing or getting worse here, but better here or better here and worse in the neck, that's a good thing. Yes. If you do the stretches and it feels better here, but it gets worse down in this area or up in the head, that's no good. That's so, a bad sign. Right. We want it to centralize, get, you know, if anything, stay the same or a little worse here and better in these farther out areas. That's that's the goal. We want the pain to retract. It, we that, want it to retract to the area where is actually the problem. The problem is actually here. Yep. So we want the pain to go back to its home. Exactly. Chase it home, if yes. you will. And, you know, when I was taught like that with some of the uh, neck instructors, that was kind of one of their uh, analogies. It's really the truth, you know, no matter what joint you're treating. Right. If, you know, if you have a trauma with your elbow and it sends the pain down your arm, you want that arm pain to get better right. and, and the it, elbow. It's very common with a lot of body, right. you know, yes. painful parts. All right. So people are cautiously – or anxiously waiting for us yeah. to show the stretches so here we go the stretch number one is first of all well you know in general you got to watch your posture yes so you're immediately gonna, you got to get into good posture yeah. so good posture bob's going to show ears over shoulders yep uh bob will show you what this looks like from the front right and from on. the side if you are a, a viewer of ours for a long time you're going to say oh no not the, the you can guess our first stretch yeah chin, chin touch dogs. over and over we've done these thousands of times uh but you know you it, it's they're necessary important. they're good yeah beginner stretch here we're going to bring the chin into here now when i've worked with patients and i think bob you'll yeah. agree the biggest mistakes when people do this is they either Go down, down like this and in, or up and, and go back. Um, this is really foreign to a lot of people. Yeah. I, I'm surprised how many people have trouble doing this. Yeah. Now, a cue that I would tell patients that would be helpful is think about a tabletop on your chin, and you're going to slide your chin back on that tabletop. Or uh, the one that Bob says a lot, is that the one, the, the pie one? Yeah, the pie in the Someone's going to put a pie in your face and you're just going to bring your face back like this. Or someone trying to kiss you that's undesirable. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> uh, have you ever had that happen? I, I'm sure I well, was the other way around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> I've had women go like this. Yeah, <laughs> well, we better, well, we better get back into the program here. So chin tucks, usually you start out, you're going to do 10 of them. And again, you're only going to continue the first two if they kind of hurt, but then it starts feeling better by three and four and up to 10, it's feeling good. Then you're going to do it. And again, allow that first day to go by yeah. if it feels good. And you say, boy, it felt good after that. Um, and there's no negative response. Then you're going to start doing those every hour, every one to two hours. And in fact, we were going to talk about whether or not it's really a bonus rule. It, you know, the other thing you need to follow absolutely is if a stretch is working, eventually, you got to do it several times a day. Right. You can't, one time a day is not going to take away your pain. Didn't I just say that? Yes. I'm re <laughs> reinforcing it. So you, you got to do it like three to eight times a day. Yeah. yeah. You know, whatever yeah. you, you have time for. The next one is going to be, uh, rotation so good posture again and we're just going to rotate 
to the right. You go either way, either direction, but we'll start to the right. Just test it out. Test out, stretch to the left. Don't go into any pain. If it gets to a painful spot, stop and go back. Get a sense. If the right seems like it goes really far, there really isn't much pain. And then you go to the left and it's like you get half as far and it's painful. Ignore the left for a little while and just stretch to the right. Do it 10 times and then go back to the left and assess that rotation. You might find it goes a little bit farther and you can stretch to the pain, but not don't push into it. Um, now, Brad, it was, with both of these, you were showing your hand on there. Do yeah. we want to pre you present over pressure at this point, or this is just for beginners? Well, you know, I, I think once you start doing it, and it feels good either with chin tucks or rotation, and there's no uh, sharp pain. It just feels like a good stretch. You do a real gentle a stretch. A gentle over Addition. pressure assistance with your finger fingertip only you're not pushing yep. very gentle and same with the chin tucks once they yeah, feel good again, we're going with beginner mode here exactly good so, point thank you yeah. sometimes i get carried away yeah um, and the last stretch number three is you take a towel and you get it rolled up a, a nice thick towel works good for beginning and i've used this many times yes. successfully as patients yes. now if the chin tuck kind of hurts um, and the rotation's uncomfortable. You, you could try taking a towel going over the back of your neck because uh, we want to do this motion, but this is gives you that sharp pain is uncomfortable. Very commonly to hurt when it goes, when you go yeah. back. And this will help guide you into that direction. Yeah. Eventually. I've had many people say, oh, that hurts. You put the towel here and relax and stretch into it. And they say, oh, I can go farther with less pain. Still hurts when they get farther back. So you don't go that far. You just right. gently stretch And this it. is what we talked about, where you're not going to stretch aggressively, especially the first day. Yeah. The first time, you might just do half stretches mm -hmm. back. You're not going the entire distance. Yeah. And then over time, in time, you just go further and further yeah. and further. You know, even now without any neck pain, just this towel around here just feels feels good, more comfortable, good support. You're more relaxed. So uh, I was going to mention one more, Brad. If you do want to try it, I like this one, so yep. I'm going to mention you yep. do the chin tuck. Yep. You can also side bend. Sure. And uh, with me again, I it helps when I side bend to the right. It takes my pain away. Okay. It doesn't help when I go to the left. It it just doesn't. Right. It, it, this one pain relieving. This one does nothing. I mean, so so why yeah. why do it? Right. Yeah. And again, these are things that after you do these yeah. stretches for a while, you get to learn your body. Right. Uh, We're moving away out of the beginner, yeah. and this is supposed to be for beginners, right? Yeah, but that's all right. Then you all get right. to know what you get to look forward to. All right. Good luck with those with the neck pain. Feel. Oh, what are Feel you doing? Good. I'm feeling like, like Nixon. Yeah. Yeah. Most people don't even remember that. <laughs> good luck. <laughs>